Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at Gearston Marshall, the Salt Flats Hot Rod Racer from the Cars on the Road episode, Salt Fever. Before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing first. Here we have her artwork, the Carburetor County background, and the Cars on the Road logo, and Mark Suntimer, who I will review another day, the Salt Flats map background, her name titled Gearston Marshall, and Mark Suntimer's name printed. The Mattel logo, and the Metal logo, 2023. And on the back, we have the Cars on the Road logo, as seen in the Metal logo, Cave Lightning McQueen and Pit Stop Osaurus, Deputy Hazard Lightning McQueen and Bella Cadavre, that I, who I unfortunately don't have either of those two. Noriyuki and Sarah Coggs, Road Trip Lightning McQueen, and Regular Mater, which there happens to be a Mater with Regular Mater with the working tow hook, which I unfortunately don't have, and want to get the to and I seriously want to get the tow hook version of Regular Mater, so I could do a quick comparison with the other Regular Mater that doesn't have a working tow hook. So anyhow, here we have we have 2022 Mattel, the Mattel logo, empowering the next generation through play. Disney slash Pixar, www.disney.com slash cars. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the unboxing. So here we have Gearston Marshall and Mark Sontimer all opened up and out of the, the package. And as for Mark Sontimer, uh, I may as well set him aside for another day. Since we're focusing on Gearston Marshall here, <clears throat> anyhow, Gearston Marshall is a hot, generic hot rod who bears the number 04 for the classic rods division in the Salt Flats racing series in Bonneville Salt Flats and she also shares the same body as Revo Coase who I unfortunately don't have and during his during I mean during her appearance in the Cars on the Road episode, Showtime, she was seen as a background salt flats racer. The first scene where Lightning McQueen and Mater arrived during their road trip, and another time after the ladder of Mater breaking the sound when Ma the ladder of Mater breaking the sound barrier and coming apart, and she hadn't spoke in the episode. And during her diecast releases, she was released twice, one time in a single, and another time in a two pack, which I got from Meyer three days ago. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Now here we have her smirking facial expression, no grill, no fenders, her cream yellow paintwork. We got a blue number 04 surrounded by a blue borderline circle on the hood. 
And on both sides, we got the cream yellow rims on the black wall tires and the the blue stripe on the enamel and a blue number 04 on each of her doors and a maroon number 15 surrounded by a maroon borderline circle white letters RDRR which I don't know what that stands for tell me what it is, what it stands for in the comments down below and on the top we have the a blue number 04 no name signature and on the top and on the back we have the back bumper the blue number 04 surrounded by a blue borderline circle and a small maroon number 15 surrounded by a maroon borderline circle and on the undercarriage it says Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand Mattel and that is it and now let's pull up some of the other Salt Flats racers we have Mark Sontimer Royce Revsley Dax Jammin and Speed Demon and that is it so what do you guys think which Salt Flats racer is your absolute favorite let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below or on the voting poll and if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel and I hope to see you guys next time for another review so please stay tuned thank you so much for watching goodbye now